What's up, everybody? Derek Anderson, the DA. And yep, once again, the meeting is canceled with the showrunners and the WGA leadership. This is absolutely incredible. When you sit back and think about this, this whole uh, showrunner meeting drama that's been going on all week long. You know, we've been talking about it. I did a couple of videos discussing it. And here we are on Friday, meeting canceled with the WGA leadership because, you know, they're saying, well, we're planning ahead for these studio talks. Because guess what happened? The, the, the showrunners lit a fire. They lit a fire up under the WGA's ass and they had to respond to it. And this was the fire in my opinion. This is the fire that the showrunners lit, all right? I covered this story and if you didn't see the video, I'll link it above, but it's they let this information get out. That yeah, they canceled the meeting. The WGA canceled the showrunners meeting. And, you know, again, we saw the whole thing where they were like, oh, no, 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 it wasn't canceled by the WGA. It was the showrunners that canceled it. And I said, it doesn't matter who canceled it. The fact that this meeting was supposed to happen, number one, and then number two, it was canceled, shows that there is severe problems within the WGA. They are infighting, all right? And it said it in this article. Yeah, y'all remember this. Exchanges with WGA leadership was described to the rap by an individual with knowledge as intense and emotional with phone calls between individual showrunners and guild leaders leading to fights, shouting matches, and screaming hangups. And again, I think that the showrunners made sure that this information got out. Why? Because they needed to light that fire under the WGA. They knew, hey man, look, we got to put that out there that these cats are not looking to negotiate. The showrunners are like the bosses of the writers, right? They run the shows. They're not just the boss of the writers. They're the, they're the boss of the entire show. You know, they run the show. So they're the ones, if there's a TV show that you like, there's a showrunner that's kind of handling everything, you know, from crew members, hair and makeup, you know, key grips, all of that stuff. And the writers, you know? And the actors, they're, they're the ones that kind of coordinate the whole show. We got cats coming to us saying, hey, man, I'm, I'm sleeping in my car and all that kind of stuff. And these guys are trying to figure out what is the leadership doing? And I've been saying it, man, the WGA leadership is severely incompetent. They were incompetent and wrong for going on strike in the first place when they had zero leverage. All right. You had no leverage to go on strike in the first place. Why are you calling for a strike? All right. And then. You did it at the wrong time. You're doing it at a time when Hollywood is bleeding money. They don't have the resources to even take care of y'all. There's going to be a severe cutback in Hollywood coming, all right? I got a video talking about that. I actually had to re-record the beginning of that video because I was discussing this showrunners meeting at the beginning. I had to re-record re that because this news came out. But the WGA is just completely incompetent. And on top of that, they still didn't allow their membership to vote on the actual deal that was made by the AMPTP. They gave them a deal. They said, no, nah, we're not even going to let our members vote on this deal. And that's why I'm like, wait, what's going on? And I'm pretty sure that the showrunner saw that. And they was like, let's talk to these dudes because something ain't right behind the scenes, man. So, yeah, with all of that fire starting that the showrunners were doing, uh, the WGA and AMPTP are set to restart talks next week. Remember, they were both at a standstill, both at an impasse, playing chicken with each other. Who's going to blink first? Like that kind of thing. Like, no, nah, it's not up to us to make the first move. They got to do it. Both sides were saying that about the other side. But who's the one that set this meeting? Who's the one that reached out? Yep, right here, the AMPTP revealed Thursday the two parties are working to schedule the meeting. On Wednesday, September 13th, the WGA reached out to the AMPTP and asked for a meeting to move negotiations forward. That's the showrunners lighting that goddamn fire. Hey, you, hey, what's going on here? And look, I guarantee you, it, they either gave the WGA marching orders, the showrunners I'm referring to, they either gave the WGA marching orders, here's what you're going to say in the meeting, okay? This meeting that they're going to reschedule, here's what you're going to say in the meeting, here's the deals that you're going to be, and, and you know what? Figure it out. But here's the marching orders, here's what we want, here's what you're going to talk about. Either they gave them those marching orders, or those showrunners are going to be in this meeting too. They're going to be sitting right next to these uh, WGA leadership members and they're going to probably be the ones talking the most. I mean, because to me, it's like this thing got to come to an end. It's going too long, you know? And again, like I said, I don't care who wins. It's, I, I, I have absolutely no dog in this fight. But what I'm saying is this is one reason why I hate unions because I hate people who have to negotiate on my behalf 
and then I can't have any say so and y'all ain't even letting me vote on whatever it is that was offered, right? Like I would have took the deal that the AMPTP are like, oh yeah, let me get that. Yeah, that's a great deal, right? I'll, I'll sink or swim, you know, I'm a survivor. I'll figure it out. But you guys aren't even given the opportunity to these writers, you know? So yeah, there's a big shakeup coming in Hollywood. And in my opinion, the WGA, they're trying to do everything they can to avoid it because th these cats right here, the AMPTP, the studios, they, they know the writing's on the wall. The WGA knows the writing is on the wall. Hollywood is about to go through a major shakeup, okay? It is an existential crisis. I'm going to cover that in the next video. It is a very big existential crisis for all of these studios, okay? Streamers, writers, actors, everybody. There's going to be a severe cutback in the amount of work that be, that's being pushed out there. This stuff is not sustainable. And because of that, the, the WGA is trying to get everything they can, but they just don't have the leverage. And what they should have did is said, you know what? We don't have the leverage. Let's make a deal. Get something now. And then we'll fight for more on the back end, maybe three years down the line. when We have more of a leverage. We have more of an idea of what the landscape looks like. But the studios are not going to be making deals right now that when they don't even understand what the landscape is going to look like. That's the big issue. You know, but I, like I said, I'll cover that on the next video. Let's talk about this meeting that's coming up. Uh, so the meeting between a group of leading showrunners, including Kenya Barris and Noah Hawley and WGA leadership has been canceled. The meeting, which became a hot topic of conversation around Hollywood earlier this week, has been pushed after the WGA and AMPTP agreed to hold new talks aimed at ending the work stoppage that has been going on since May. Deadline understands that the cancellation of the meeting, which was set to happen today, was a mutual decision as the Guild tries to figure out its plan for the latest showdowns with the studio. See, when you keep having to say this type of stuff, oh, no, 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 it's a mutual decision. Everybody's cool. We still love each other. When you got to keep making an emphasis to make that point, that means that it's not, okay? Like, if you got to keep saying, oh, no, 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 me and the wife are wonderful. Everything's good. No, everything's fine. No, they, we, we love each other. No, she's not cheating on me. You know, it's like if you got to keep saying that, like, all right, bro, <laughs> whatever you say, man, yeah, I'll see you around. Like, that's how it is that, you know, you don't have to keep convincing people that you have a wonderful relationship if you have one. The showrunner meeting, which was also thought to include Sam Esmail, was described not as a sign of discontent among the guilty. They got to keep saying that, OK, uh, as rumored by some, but rather a chance to bring more high profile folks into the process as the writer strike has moved into its fourth month. It's moving into its fifth month. OK, strike started what? May 2nd. Right. So you got the month of May, the month of June, month of July, month of August. Yeah, this is September. We in month five. Uh, this was meant to be an information session and not meant to offer anything more than help. A source close to events told Deadline. That is still the intention so we can all get a fair deal and get back to work. This is what the, sh this is the showrunners. They, they want to get back to work. This is what the showrunners want. They're the ones that are fielding these questions from their crew members, from various writers. Hey, hey man, what do you know about, hey, when are we going to get back to work? You know? I got, I, I'm living in my car. I got kids that I'm taking care of. And, you know, I really count on this show and the show that we've been doing. Hey, boss, can you tell me what's going on? They're dealing with this stuff. These guys run multiple shows, if, if I'm not mistaken. They run a lot of different shows. So they got all kinds of people coming up to them. The showrunners had had enough. All right. They're saying, look, we're done here. Uh, the, the meeting between Barris and Holly and the Guild originally was intended to take place in West Hollywood on uh, September 8th. Then it was rescheduled to Monday before it was canceled. And then, yeah, all of this stuff we covered on the previous video, okay? It's just a result of optics, you know? We just don't want to make it look bad, you know, whatever. All of that kind of gobbledygook look, that goes out the window. In my opinion, this stuff never gets out in the first place if everything is cool. If everybody was cool, if we didn't have these screaming hangups, okay? And shouting matches and screaming hangups, if we didn't have that, then this story doesn't even come out at all. Everybody's cool. Everybody's hunky dory. They're just talking behind the scenes. All right. But again, in my opinion, the showrunners lit that fuse. Now, what's going to happen next week? What's going to happen whenever they meet? In my opinion, here's what's going to happen. The showrunners have given them their marching orders, right? You're going to go in there and whatever you want to say, however you guys do it, you're going to get a deal done. I'll, don't come out of there without a deal. Okay. You're going to go in there. You're going to get a deal done. And then you will present that deal to the writers, to the membership. OK, not like this last one. You will have a deal to present to the membership for a vote. Now, if they vote it down, they vote it down. But you guys are going to get something that we can present and say, all right, cool. This is where we're at with it. 
That, in my opinion, is what the showrunners have said. Because, look, the WGA leadership, they're not trying to sit up here and talk to the showrunners face-to-face. -face. You know, people got a different level of energy when you're talking over the phone versus you get up in somebody's face and say, hey, all right, now that we face-to-face, -face, it's not on emails and everything, why don't you explain what the hell is going on and why we haven't made a deal yet? You know? Those showrunners, I guarantee you, they're used to having that handle all kinds of different types of people. These are leaders. These cats are going to come up in there busting heads. So the WGA leadership, they, look, all right, all right, let's just go in here and make something happen, okay? They ain't trying to deal with these showrunners in a face-to-face -face meeting. That's why they keep canceling this joint, all right? But what's going to happen is this. What's going to happen is this. The WGA is going to, they're probably just going to take whatever the, the last deal was, Plus, hey, guys, can you give us a little something so it looks like we negotiated something with you? All right. Give us a little bit of something else. It's probably going to be the exact same deal that the studios offered. Maybe a few more bucks here and there. Okay, we threw them another 10% raise or whatever. It's going to be something minor, something that's not even a big deal to the studios. But the WGA will be like, all right, hey, guys, we got an extra uh, lunch on Fridays, okay? They're going to give us lunch on Fridays. Hey, you know, it's going to be something dumb like that. And then they will vote on that. It'll probably pass. And then everybody will get back to work. That's my opinion. That's the way I look at it. Of course, I could be 1,000 percent wrong but i think we're getting to the point where everybody's getting nervous you know again you got so many crew members that are losing their jobs living in their um cars and it's just getting worse so at some point in time it's been what we're in the fifth month and they don't want to go into month number six you know with nothing happening all right like i said they got to get a deal done we covered that before they got to settle the strikes by october 1st in order to salvage the entire season. So if they can't get this thing settled and done and dusted by October 1st, right, which leaves us about two weeks, then uh, guess what? All of those showrunners, the studios are just going to be like, yep, we're just sitting on our hands now. We ain't got nothing to push for. You know, 2023-24 is lost. The entire season is lost. So we ain't got nothing to do. We're just going to sit back and see what y'all doing, you know? And then they'll just go ahead and move their focus on to the actors and try to get some of the current stuff that they have that's still waiting to be produced in the pipeline. They'll just focus on the actors and they'll say to hell with the writers. And so this is the problem. They're going to lose that entire season and the, the studios won't have any incentive to make any decisions or do anything. They'll sit on their hands. So the top, the clock is ticking right now. The clock is ticking on this October 1st date. And yeah, if this is the case, then the showrunners know it's now or never, you know, but we'll see what happens. You guys let me know what you think. I think this whole situation is so fascinating. I have another video talking about like the overall uh, Hollywood landscape and where I think everything is leading to, you know, and it's going to be a mess. But you guys let me know what you think about this. Jump down in the comments. Give me your thoughts and opinions on that. Thanks for watching. See you next time.